and who knows what might go wrong. My bedtime prayer as a child was this, Jesus, gentle shepherd, hear me, bless thy little lamb tonight. Through the darkness be thou near me, keep me safe till morning light. As I lay under a picture depicting Christ holding a lamb, I was never quite sure if I was praying for the baby sheep or for me, but I prayed the prayer faithfully every night. I'd love to say that in the years that followed, I became a great prayer warrior, but that's not true. I often struggled to know how to pray and what to pray. If God had already decided what was going to happen, what difference did my prayers really make? And that's not the only problem, though, is it? If we're brutally honest, at times we find prayer boring or repetitive. We get distracted and our minds wander. We know how important prayer is, but we struggle to pray, and then we feel guilty and wonder what's wrong with us. Sometimes this makes us question our commitment to God. Even deeper, does God hear and answer our prayers? Before starting to write this book, I conducted a quick poll on my Facebook page asking my readers about their experiences with prayer. Within two hours, there were over 650 comments, many expressing the same struggles. I get distracted. I feel like I'm just saying the same things over and over. What's the point if God knows what's going to happen anyway? How do I know what I'm supposed to pray? I get bored. How do I know God hears me? I didn't get an answer last time, so why pray? I feel as if God hates me. I'm too depressed to pray. This comment showed up over and over and over. I can't stay focused. My mind wanders. <laughs> I understand. More importantly, so does God. There have been many dark seasons in my life when I found it difficult to pray. That's why I wrote this book. After years of trying to be perfect, I began to understand that God doesn't seek our perfection. He longs for our presence. I've written many books over the years, but I don't think any have impacted me personally as much as this one. There's so much I'm excited to share with you. The Holy Spirit wants to teach us how to pray and also show us that it's not as complicated as we've made it. I also believe we have an enemy who will do whatever he can to distract us and stop us from praying. If we have forgotten the power of prayer, he has not, but we're not alone. And the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. And the Father, who knows all hearts, knows what the Spirit is saying. For the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's own will. Romans chapter 8, verses 26 and 27. That is amazing news. I'm very grateful you're listening to this book. Even now I'm pausing to pray for you. I'm asking the Holy Spirit to open your eyes to see truth and your ears to hear His voice. If you've been tempted to give up on prayer, just know that you're not alone. It doesn't mean you don't love Jesus. It may simply mean that, like my grandfather, you think there's a right way to pray and a wrong way. Or perhaps you're tired of saying the same old things over and over again. Maybe you prayed and God didn't answer you, so you think, why keep praying? Whatever your challenge is, let me remind you that God is not looking for perfect words or perfect people. He just wants our hearts so together, we look at how to pray when we don't know what to say, how to pray through our pain, how to pray God's promises over our lives, how to pray when we need a breakthrough, and perhaps most life-changing of all, how to pray God's Word back to Him. This one practice alone is changing my life. May I pray for you? Father, I pray right now for the one listening to these words. If she's tired, give her rest. If she's broken, bring your healing. If she is heart sick, bring your peace. If she feels condemned, bring your grace. We want to be praying women for Jesus' sake. In his name, I ask these things. Amen. Chapter 1 Pray when you don't know.